Don't forget to check out Parabellum's eShop and use East Mini 10 to save 10%. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, I have a treat for you guys today. Actually, it's more of a treat for me, but I received something in the mail today that came from a long way over the pond from Parabellum Games. Take a look at that. Conquest. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they did talk to me about, uh, since I became an affiliate with them, sending me the two-player starter kit, their brand new one, which is the Nords versus the City States. So it'll include some of their older models, but upgraded in the plastic, I guess, and all that, and the new City States faction. So let's take a look in here and see what we got, actually, because I, from the weight, it seems like it's a bit heavier. So we're going to figure this one out and see what we got here. Let's see here. Okay. A big box. It is pretty heavy. So we're gonna take a look and see here inside. Might want to put away that night. Alright, so we got lots of paper. Lots of paper. Okay, so well. look at that. It is the two-player starter kit for Conquest. Uh, last Argument of Kings or First Blood. I want to make sure there's nothing else in there. Never know. Maybe they sent me some dice. All right. Let's get it. So, hey. Two-player starter set. Look at that. All right. Nords versus City-States. I've been always thinking about trying to uh, get a Nords army going. So, and this box looks super new. See, what's cool, look at it on the top here. See, it says... One miniatures collection, two games. So you get Conquest and First Blood. So that's really awesome. That's really cool. So let's open it up quickly here. Oh, okay. And we already have something that says attention. Let's see. Hello, our, apologize, our apologies in advance for what you will see with the enclosed sprues. Due to a model defect, there's a little extra plastic at the sprue frame. This does not impact any of the parts for the miniatures themselves. We did not want to delay the release as the figures themselves are as we sculpted them. These will be recut after the initial release is complete as we continuously look to improve our standards. We appreciate your continued support to Parabellum Deep. Okay, so this is definitely pre-release stuff. Like, awesome. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, this is definitely the Mountain Yachtner from the Nords. Nice plastic there. Okay, some more sprues from that. That looks like it's more. Oh, there's this tree that he holds. And yeah, some more. Pretty cool. Lots of plastic. And uh, what's going to be cool is that we're, I'm actually going to cut these off scene, build them all off, off camera, and then I'll show you guys uh, a little bit later, right after this uh, segment here, what they all look like. So here is. Uh, I think this might be the Polymark. This might be the Polymark from uh, the City States. And this looks like the King Corindy or something like that for. Or is this the Polymark? Oh no, this is the Polymark. Something like that there. Anyways, cool. And we got a whole bunch of, like, we got the big monster base, of course. Uh, we got some infantry bases. We also have, this is for the Minotaurs from the City States. That's going to be really awesome. Really cool. There's those bases there. We've got, oh, start playing scenarios. So this is what I like. These little scenarios that they give. Oh yeah, so it's Kuningir and the Polymark Portalus Purgence. Look at it. I mean, there's a whole story, which is really awesome. Whole storyline in there. Uh... This is really cool. Here's some, so they give some scenarios in there. I won't go too much because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody out there, but I think this is probably going to be available online too. Uh, cool. See, and it gives you all their characteristics and their regiments. Uh, it gives you all that stuff. Uh, all sorts of things to look at in the back here. Now, look at all this plastic. Okay, I got to show you before. I took out some already, but... Yeah, look at this. Look at look like wow. Look at that plastic. There's so much plastic in there, folks. Oh, of course, we got the new rule books. And you get two of them. Share it with a friend because if some people split these boxes, right? Some people just want the city state, some people want the Nords. You get two, and these are the new rules. 
So that is really cool that they give those. That is amazing stuff. So there's all these brews here. We're going to have to go through all that. Um, all the infantry bases. Lots of infantry bases. Some more infantry bases. More infantry bases. Guess what? More infantry bases. Lots and lots of stuff. So let's put that there. Oh, look at all this. Plant. Okay, so here's probably some of their older stuff. Because this looks like they're older plastic sprues here. There's more round. And so this is probably the Nords, which are the Bow Chosen and the Huskarls that you're getting with this. So that is awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to building these and showing you guys what they look like. You've probably already seen them because it's the Nord stuff. So I'll show you this quickly once I build them. And then we've got... Uh, this is probably the uh, upgrade stuff for them. This looks like for the new sprues, so this is like the new stuff here. And then, oh, a little explanation of the city-states, who they are. Oh, yeah, and they're, they're, they're new, see, warlords, uh, warbands. Warbands of conquest. So they give you ideas of what to build for your first armies. Uh, oh, they got all the instructions to build. And then they get the same thing with the Nords. So inside here, they'll give you ideas of how to build your... First conquest, little army, little miniature arms, because 2,000 points is a lot to play with. And let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is, this must be, oh, that's the Minotaur stuff, probably. That must be something else, too. Who knows? There's so much plastic in here. It'd be so much fun to figure this all out. Let's just take out, look at that. Just so much plastic. More plastic. More plastic. More plastic. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm gonna be doing there. Oh my god! Look at the size of these minotaurs. Look at that axe. That's just crazy. And get all the command cards. Now the only thing is too bad. They don't toss in some like starter dice. Well, let's put that all back in there for now. You get all your command cards. Yeah, like I'm saying, it's too bad you don't get any like starter dice or uh, other stuff like that in these two-player starter kits. Because it would be cool if they gave you some dice. Um, so there you got the. So you got all the command cards that you need here. So you got all the ones like the Kunin Gear, the Bow Chosen, the Husk Girls, the Mountain Yachtnar, the Polymark, Hoplites, Hoplites twice, Phalangites, Phalangites. Minotaur Haspis has Haspist has and the Minotaur Tyrians. So what's cool is that the these guys are actually dual kits. So you'll be able to build two different kind of Minotaurs, and you'll see those coming up soon in the video. Uh I don't know why they gave two Phalangites and two Hoplite cards though. So I don't know if you can oh maybe because they're dual kits as well. I'll have to take a look and see because maybe you can make two hoplites and then two phalangelites, but not in the same kit. You can make one or the other, or you can make two of each. So that's all you're going to get in a kit. You're not going to get four uh, rows of those. So anyways, we're gonna, I'm going to show you now. Uh, I've built, I'll be building these, like I said, off camera, gluing them all, all together. And uh, I'll show you what they look like in just a few seconds. All right, so I ended up just building like the main characters or like one of each just to show you guys what was in the box. But I didn't build the Nords because I know there's a lot of people out there that already have the Nords or have already seen them. I really want to focus on the city states and I really didn't have a chance to build uh, 24 of the little guys and then the three big minotaurs. I could have built the third one, but whatever. And then I built also the Polymark. Uh, and I also wanted to make this video to thank Parabellum very much for sponsoring, uh, or not necessarily sponsoring, but for giving me this box set as a gift and a thank you for uh, making videos on their uh, miniatures. And I hope to continue to do so. Uh, so eventually there will be painting videos on these five miniatures here that you see. And as well as if you become a member, I will have some behind the scenes of me actually gluing these guys together and assembling them. And also a couple spoofs that I made uh, while gluing the uh, Polymark. So uh, do become a member, join, 
and you can get these exclusive videos and you can see them again. So let's take a look a little bit closer now at the first three, which is the pole march, the flat phal phalangites, my God, and the hoplites. All right, so you can see now that the uh, Polymark here, he's a different color because he's made out of resin. And to be honest, I like more the plastic because resin is a little harder to glue together. You really have to wash it or use a very special uh, super glue, which I've bought at a local hobby shop uh, that actually works. And I also put a little spray, which uh, does an instant glue, like it makes it instant hard because his... Uh, his cape on the back there that was a living nightmare and like i said if you want to see how i put those together become a member today and you'll be able to see those exclusive videos uh, the next one was the phalangites they were great to assemble pretty simple as well as the hoplites now these both of these here are the leaders so these have the command sprues uh, pieces attached to them uh, and it comes with a enough to make two armies or two regiments of phalangites two regiments of hoplites or you can do one regiment of each which i will be doing uh but i will just be showing you painting these ones eventually all right let's move on to those amazing minotaurs now all right so what's again cool with uh game uh, with the parabellum here with this game conquest is that you'll get dual kits sometimes for their miniatures especially in and the city states seem to have done that with uh both of these regiments here and this one here is the minotaurs and you can either have the haspists or the Therians, I think that's the name, Tyrians. And so the Haspis have some shields and some different armor, and the Therians as well. You can see this bull running right at you, this Minotaur. Amazing, bulky miniatures, super easy to assemble, and I'm looking forward to painting these up. Anyways, uh, so that is all. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again, Parabellum. Uh, super greatly appreciated. Can't wait to test these two armies against each other in a quick little game, uh, just like that, and uh, be able to take a look and see a little bit more at how these play out, especially the city-states. Again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.